All right, this week, Rants and Raves, we decided to watch One Piece. And no, 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 not the the anime se- series that has been running for nearly 23 years. Oh, I guess nearly 25 years. Um, this is the live action adaptation on Netflix. Did everybody watch it? I watched uh, about half of the season. So we got one episode from Mike. We've got half the season from the disembodied voice of Matt. My broken camera. I'm sorry, guys. I'm going to go. Let let me just start this off real quick um, because I'm going to put this into context. I. uh, None of you have watched the anime, right? I have not. Okay. I know you you recently just learned about the anime, uh, Mike. I have spent, it took me over 20 years to fight my way through the cont- the number of episodes that were covered in the first couple episodes of this thing. <laughs> Literally, I I absolutely hate, I hate the One Piece anime. It is the epitome of the thing that I hate where they take a stupid thing and drag it out over multiple episodes. Like Dragon Ball, where a single fight takes an entire season. And that's not like... Stupid eight episode seasons. This is 23 to 54 episodes. Right. For one freaking fight. No, that is stupid. Well, that's what One Piece does. Okay. Um the f- I ended up watching the so it took me, it took me two or 20 years to get through the amount of content that is covered in the first couple episodes of I watched the entire Netflix series. I completed it. All eight or ten episodes, whatever it was, I completed all of it. So that right there should be a glowing endorsement. It it, it definitely is, sir. Um, Uh, what, what, What did you guys think? So, as you indicate, I thought it was new. I had never heard of One Piece at all. Um, until probably probably sometime around the pandemic. So pro- within the last three years, for sure. Um, and I used to watch anime, though I probably stopped watching anime about the time this came out, right? I watched it in high school. Um, uh, you know, the classics like that are things that are classics now, like Akira and Ghost in the Shell and Cowboy Bebop and stuff like that. Um, but I kind of stopped watching it more or less when I got out of high school. My friends that were providing all the content um, moved away and stuff. So I got out of the space and then I started hearing about this just like everywhere uh, about two years ago, maybe three years ago. And I thought it was brand new. So I'm totally floored that this is like, thousands of episodes of anime and um, decades of content. For 20 some years, pretty much. And every season is around 50 episodes. Yeah. All I got to say is the, uh, uh, I I knew of its existence before I started watching the, mm-hmm. before, but, and um, as you, as I've said before in the past, when I get into a show like an anime in particular, uh, it can suck me in and it mm-hmm. becomes difficult for me to stop watching, which is why when I was asked about this with my friends and, oh, we're going to watch One Piece tonight. I said, oh, cool. What's that? It's an anime. It's about pirates. Oh, cool. Uh, tell me about it. It's got over a thousand episodes. And I said, I'm out. <laughs> so nope. that being said, what did you guys <laughs> think about the show on Netflix? I love Luffy. Really? Luffy is amazing. 
I don't Luffy? know what Luffy is. Luffy is yeah, the you character. Do. He's the character who wears he's, the straw hat. In, in oh, the very okay, first the main, episode, yeah. he says, "I'm Monkey D. Luffy, and I'm going to be the king <laughs> of the." And, <laughs> I love how this show sets up the world so well. It basically it, it's it's like okay, this is a world where there's lots of people on ships. There's islands all over the place. Great. Oh, by the way, there's this great treasure out there. And the tre- and just before they execute the guy, they, he said, "If you find it, it's yours." which makes everybody go nuts. And so the world is all set for this entire, you know, everybody's looking for this thing. And I love it. I love just, it sets this great pace for what the whole world is about. And it's a great for running, having this story. Uh, and Luffy himself is so genuine and so believing in himself. Uh, yeah. It, it, it's so, it, he's so refreshing in so many ways. I have to say, um, you know, he he asks the right questions. He says the right things. Um, he's absolutely fun. Although uh, the flashbacks to him being a kid, he's a brat. Yeah, know. <laughs> yeah. I I completely agree. Uh, I, I'm still learning the names of the characters. I'll have to hear them for probably five or six episodes before I remember them. Well, there's I'm only a couple of epi- there's only a couple characters. You've only watched one episode. Well, I'm horrible with names, so it, I, it might take me a while to figure out. Now he's I know still learning his child or his child's name. Um. Yeah, I, uh, I, I do have trouble. I call them the wrong names all the time. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think that was one of the things that stood out to me as well. Like the, like him as a person, he just seems so. Um, likable is not the right word because um, he's an idiot. He's a lovable he, idiot. <laughs> there you go. That's exactly <laughs> it. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, he's a lovable idiot. A good person. I, I I say that's fair. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean that that's literally his character archetype. Um, yeah. I will say, I have always liked the concept of this show. It was the execution of the anime that drove me crazy. Now, one of the things about the anime, uh, my understanding is that um, it often had different styles of animation for like different characters and things like that. Is that true? Um, I guess you could say that. I, I, I think it was, uh, that's more, uh, in like different seasons have different styles because the, I, I'm pretty sure it's been produced by multiple companies over the years and different directors have different visions, but I, I, I can't really speak to that. I, I, I've only, I've, I've managed to force my way to like 160 something episodes. So that's like season three. Hmm. Um, But what I was going to say is, I like most of the characters. I like the concept of the show, but the anime was always too slow. To put things into perspective, the first episode spans five to 10 episodes from the anime. And the fact that it did that, I really enjoyed it because it became a actually coherent story that you can get interested and see a payoff. I do have minor gripes because there are story elements that were changed. Mm. Like we're not supposed to meet Nami until at least episode two or three. Um, but I mean, I'll, whatever, uh, I'll, I'll let it go. Uh, yeah, there there are things that I noticed that were kind of irritating, but for the most part, I like the character act or I like the actors that they uh, cast. Mm-hmm. I like the style. It's got a lot of the stuff that I really loved about the Cowboy Bebop uh, live adaptation i'm not usually a a fan of live adaptations but 
But so far, you have said that I've done well on both if of them. They, yeah, absolutely. And if okay. you, I will, uh, I will, I will say, I'm probably one of the biggest critics uh, against adaptations of anything. And if you, if you got me on your side, uh, number one, I apologize because people are going <laughs> to hate it without watching it. But also, you, you clearly did something good. Um. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Uh, what were you going to say? Yeah, I, I mean, uh, from me, uh, this not having seen the other stuff at all, it just absolutely pulled me in Good. from from the very beginning. Um, I, uh, if I could have convinced you all to record this tomorrow, I would have, and I would have just watched all night long. <laughs> But um, but thank you for not doing that because now I'll actually get some sleep. <laughs> but yeah, I mean it was it was good. I really enjoyed the episode. Yeah, so uh, I I want to talk a little bit more beyond uh, episode one. I want to <laughs> talk about the, the the so in this story immediately episode one introduced you into various famous pirates. One of the first one that introduced you to is a swan boat with a heart sail. Alvida. <laughs> yeah, well, I didn't know her name. All I know is that she was, uh, you know, absolutely just kind of an interesting archetype for a character. But she, she's there just to int basically get introduce another character for us, uh, which I, is great. Actually, it's funny that you bring her up because I feel bad for that actress. Yeah, because. Alvita goes away for a couple seasons. And when she comes back, she is super tall and super gorgeous. Oh. And which means I think the run is done for that actress. Oh. Okay. Um, unless they, because, because, and it's part of the story why the, why she changed. Right. Uh, spoilers, there may be a devil fruit involved. Um, but, yep. uh, yeah, I mean, you've got, uh, so in the, in the first few episodes, you, you feet, they feature, uh, Alvita, Gold Roger, um, you've got Shanks, what and else? My, uh, my Captain favorite, Buggy. have you gotten my Captain favorite. Buggy yet? Captain Buggy is my favorite, <laughs> or at least the portrayal of, of him is by this character Ooh, by no 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 I, I like i was gonna say captain oh, buggy is even better in the anime oh really <laughs> yes so unfortunately I, I, you have to watch the anime to get that <laughs> well, which i uh, do not recommend well since i have not seen the anime the the yeah. adaptation of this character by this actor in this in this series i felt was amazing at first when i was watching this i said is that ben stiller mm. i'm not sorry is that ben St no. no it's not no. It, it's an actor named jeff ward and he's he's excellent in this role i have to say i absolutely love him he is a wonderful and wonderful I, and character maybe we'll talk about it after because there's it's kind of spoiler but one of the inconsistencies that really drove me crazy happens in the buggy arc Mm. and it's like mm. he calls out something specific but then when it happens to him it all of a sudden the rules are changed uh something that wouldn't have slid in the in the uh anime they're very very strict to the rules There's always so much that you have to yeah you know, um adapt a little bit so and uh I don't know. Um, what do you What do you guys think? Uh, would you recommend this? Uh, so I basically said to my wife, "I have to watch One Piece." At which point she said, "Oh, that weird show that's on Netflix." And I said, "Yeah, it's based off an anime." And she goes, "Oh, okay, you enjoy." Mm -hmm. And then she came across me watching it, and she's like, "Huh, it actually looks good." I said, "Yeah, it actually is." <laughs> So, yes, I would recommend this. <laughs> Absolutely. This is fun. 
I actually did recommend it when you, when you you suggested it. I said yes. I would uh, probably and going forward, I would say give it a try. Definitely. Yeah, uh, I'm I'm on board. The same. Uh, I would recommend it. Uh, maybe not universally. Oh no, nothing is a universal recommendation. Exactly, but. Uh, I would say most people would probably enjoy it, at least what season one contains. Let me ask you, would my mother enjoy this? I don't know. Well, you got to configure, you got to figure she's my mother. So yes. Yeah. Probably. uh, Yeah, I think so. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. I mean, I guess that's, that's fair. I can say with confidence, my mother would not. Well, she doesn't uh, like pirates. Oh, she story. doesn't like a lot of things. <laughs> you heard it here. Mike's mom doesn't like a lot of things. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I want to touch on that fa- on the pirates thing for a little uh-huh. bit, for just a second. Um, before this, the the most recent big pirates movie was Pirates of the Caribbean. I would say okay. I would say the next. The, before it wasn't this, the Tom Hanks movie. I'm the captain now. Uh, it, no, don't think of that. Um, I don't think that. I don't think of that one as a pirate movie. Although uh, that's not we I, did uh, watch the pirate movie. That's right, we did. But that was way before this one that came out. <laughs> that's true. Uh, no. Uh, oh, uh, oh no! There was that animated the pirates movie. Oh, that no. one was funny. That was like Wallace and Gromit people, right? I think so. Yeah. Oh, you're right. That was a that did come up, but it completely slipped my mind. I'd not thought of that. Yeah, um, that was 2012. I really think that they did a real good job of making pirates fun in this mm-hmm. show, and I was worried it would be a slog. I mean, Pirates of the Caribbean. The reason why I like it so much as a as a movie is it actually made pirates fun, a little bit of creepy and spooky because that was the thing of it. This one, it's more fun. It's more exciting kind of thing. Okay. So I, I really enjoy this world. I think this is a great. So did you ever um, watch Black Sails? I watched a little bit of Black Sails. That's uh with um uh what's his name as uh as the pirate uh, the, uh, uh Toby Steven no, Zach the, McGowan. No. Um, no, I'm trying to think of um because that was twenty fourteen and that had four seasons. No, uh, maybe I'm thinking of something else. Um, what was the name of the ad actor? Yeah. John Malkovich. Know. Oh no, no. John Malkovich isn't in Black Sails. But uh yeah, I mean, because that was a that was a pirate TV show and it Frost was Bones. Gr- gritty and uh uh that- I guess it was oh, it's a pre I didn't know it was a prequel to the classic novel treasure island oh really i didn't know that either i didn't know that either i might actually uh, go back and try and finish watching it (laughs) uh no i watched uh part of the first season of crossbones which does star john malkovich oh uh also uh last year we had one of the greatest pirate tv shows ever our flag means death that's yeah that's I have not yet come around to watching, oh, but dude. I know it's 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 one of those things I'm holding on it's to. Taiko for Waititi. I, need it. I know, I know, I know. There's a lot of Taiko Waititi that I've been holding on to when it's like one of those weeks where I'm like alone and nobody else is in the house and I watch them by myself. Kind it's of thing, Taiko Waititi and Reese Darby. Reese Darby <laughs> alone, it should be enough to make anybody watch this. All right. I'm not a fan of some of the directions the story goes, but as a whole, it's wonderful. 